here's her coming out of the dock. Let's see. Ooh, little glow in the belly. Oh, man. Turd gets shiny. Slow, slow on the exit. Okay. Take your time. Okay, little beetle bug. You'll be all right. There's the sun in the background. Ooh, that planet needs more texture. There you have it, everybody. Enjoy. Fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Devore Fisha, or the Devore Steven, as I will be calling mine. And we're going to go over whether it is a good ship, a bad ship, and how it really compares to other ships in the game, how it is for a specialty ship, and even comparing it to the other Devore and giving you the good, the bad, and the truth. Because at the end of the day, that's all you really care about is how the thing works and whether you should go after it. So let's start with first reading the description of this ship. We don't normally do this, but I feel like it's pertinent to today's video. But the innovation is the first stage of profit, or at least that's what Quark would tell you. I don't know if he'd say that, but the Devor Fisha is a marvel of Ferengi engineering and entrepreneurial wits armed with a DX2000 mining laser capable of cutting through up to 12 inches of solid rock. The Fisha is the next stage of evolution in galactic latinum mining. Yeah, but it's not. We'll talk about that in a bit. Yeah. Design built and personally tested by Quark, his immaculate vessel comes equipped with titanium hull plating, cutting edge recycling shields, and a sleek design. Though it is reminiscent of its predecessor, make no mistake, the Fisha is an upgrade in every way. Quark guarantees it, and a Quark guarantee is latinum in the bank. Except, is it? Let's go over what the Devor Fisha is, whether it's good to start, and how it actually does well and fails at the same time. But the, the beginning thing that I'm going to point out is that much like the Devor, the early version, the Fisha, is basically a hunk of junk. The Devor had a lot of early problems when it came out, when it came to warp range, which the Devor Fisha has. In fact, I'm running Cadet Scotty right now just to get to warp range 41 because it starts at 36. Yet the first Latinum system, which is concentrated Latinum, by the way, is warp 38. So even if you had the Ferengi officers, which most people don't have yet, which helps you maximize what you can actually do with the Fisha, you can't actually use them completely in full synergy on this boat because you need to run something to boost the warp range. Cadet Scotty gonna be the easiest one and every player should have Cadet Scotty from the beginning of the game. So that's not an issue. But it's simply that you can't run this boat naturally and actually do anything with it. You have to put an officer on here just to get to some of the initial systems. So if I wanna back out here and, and take a look and like I said, I wanna go to Sirius and Fed Space to mine concentrated Latinum. Well, I've gotta have the warp range to get out here and do it. And one issue that you're going to find, and we're going to talk about this in a minute, why are all these horizons out here mining instead of a Devor Fisha? Now, obviously, people want to mine with the Devor Fisha because it's, you know, the new Latinum thing, and we want to be able to go and refine our Latinum. So we want to come down here and be like, yo, I want to go to the concentrated Latinum. Let's get this in. To do that, you want to mine. You want to mine it the most efficient way possible. But there's a couple things preventing you from wanting to use your D4. D4. Devor Fisha early on. Use the D4, but the Devor Fisha. Gosh, that's going to get really confusing. Say all those things three times fast. Uh, Devor, Devor Fisha, Devor, Devor, Devor Fisha, Devor, Devor, Devor Fisha. All this aside, goofiness. Let's run to the next problem, the cargo problem. And as I was going over, you know, some of these with Hugo, one of the guys who runs numbers, and also Ice Glow, who created a calculator that we'll be taking a look at here in a minute. When you take a look at the Devor Fisha, the cargo is, I guess, expectantly low. But here's the big issue for me. I'm going to compare two ships side by side. I've got a Meridian Tier 1 here. Granted, the Meridian has cargo research. You see my cargo and then protected is at 69,000 with the officers that I'm running. And then you see me running the Dvorfisha protected cargo at 17 out of 60. Now, I'm also running a variant of protected cargo here with two of them. One of the big issues with the Fisha is even at a low level, not much cargo space and is simply not going to mine that fast. And what I mean by that fast, and it's a very relative statement, is if we go out into our system, we go back to Sirius, and we take a look at one of those nodes, and we hop on, I said, this is, we're gonna start with the very basic of what it's at. If we come over here, we're gonna click on this node and see mining 350 an hour, just kind of naturally. So we're gonna click this 35,800 to an hour. Whereas if I had a, just a Meridian, which has no bonus, 350. So nothing super impressive. That's just kind of like what we would be starting with. 
if we were going to mine this. But that's not that much. One, it takes me two hours to fill up my cargo at, at level one. And then if I want to go into my refinery, go down to my latinum refinery, go to our concentrated latinum, you see, so it's over two hours to do a single pull or about three hours or four, almost four hours to do a two chest pull every day with my base level Devor A that has no ops, no Eric, which we'll talk about his importance in a minute. And the fact that we have to wait that long and monitor it because it has such little protected cargo, this is the easiest thing to OPC hunt right now. The Meridian was the big thing to OPC hunt. Then I got some research to kind of help boost that up. The Devor A, the Fisha, is by far the easiest to OPC hunt right now. Another reason why you're seeing so many people use other boats, but okay, so let's bust into some spreadsheet math because who doesn't love spreadsheets? And this one put together by Ice Glow and then shout out to Blue Mando for helping put together the Google Sheets version. So Ice Glow put this together in my Discord. He's one of our moderators. So shout out to him and all the number crunching that people like him and you know, O2C and Hugo and everybody else like to do when uh, I'm there and then having somebody else to bounce this off with is very useful. So. We're going to take a look at the not only the mining rates, but the importance of what I feel is more important when it comes to concentrated latinum, and that is the officers. Now, obviously, if you max out your Devor A or your Freesia, you're going to have a lot of success as a concentrated latinum miner just because of the ship ability. However, there's one thing I want to note over in this column, and this is something you can look at yourself. The mining laser itself for the Freesia is actually really, really weak. I mean, it's, it's honestly, it's pretty awful. And it never really improves even up to tier 12. Now, something to also note in this is if you go to tier four, that's where you're capped out at level 39. Most players getting the Fisha in the game are not, past, you know, I mean, most of the players aren't in the 40s and 50 yet, uh, 50s yet. They're in the 30s. So because of that, you're limited to how far the Fisha can actually get you with its ship ability. So tier four, right at that 49.3 or 49,391 ship ability, which then basically with Eric, and you saw my ability at tier one getting to a 68,455 hourly rate. Now that's with Eric and full Ferengi synergy and the fact that the Devor Fisha right over there has got a special ability on its ship for mining Castrate Latinum. You would think it's the best immediately, but it's not. And if we compare it just by scrolling down a little bit, look at the horizon. This is a horizon, a level 26 ship. Max horizon with the full synergy Ferengi crew will mine at an hourly rate of 111,105. And the reason for that is the mining laser. The mining laser of almost every ship in the game is far superior to the fee ship. So even though you have these insane percentages that allow you, even with the ship itself, to get really, really good values, and we can throw some of those percentages up on the screen so you can see the fee ship and everything with those numbers, but when it comes to just the raw data, you're not getting a lot out of the mining laser as a whole. So let me rotate the screen real quick. And you can see here's a tier one level one ship ability for the Fisha. Now keep in mind when we're looking at the display here, which is for the graph or the spreadsheet, you see tier one is based off level five. So your ship ability will determine the amount of that laser and how much that ship ability is improved. But even then you're maxing out at 37,864. So you need the officers to really get a good rate here and here's the other drawback if you remember the officer fest well the officer fest removes your protected cargo so if you forget the maximum mining speeds you need at tier four with full synergy for ringi you're gonna have to get rid of your protected cargo so you basically took the biggest complaint that the meridian had and they perfected the meridian in my opinion and you copy and pasted what was bad with the devore and then you added in like some other flaws that made it even worse because now you have a much longer grind for Latinum. You didn't actually take away the need to mine the other Latinum. And now you've got a ship that is naturally going to force more game time because you simply can't defend it. Because here's another problem with the Devor Fisha. And this is not something people really think about a lot, but take a look at the weapons. I realize that this is a miner. However, so is the Meridian. And we all know that the Meridian can easily fend off things like Vidars once it's gotten a little bit of, you know, updates and, and been upgraded and has its levels and with the proper crew. You can run it and defend against those Vidars that go out seeking OPC. However, because you've got a kinetic weapon here, kinetic weapons almost always run this firing pattern. And if you're not familiar with it, well, here's your chance to learn. One round charge, two rounds to recharge, one shot. This is a typical kinetic weapon firing pattern. 
Now, you can sometimes get more shots from kinetic weapons, like see the D3 or the D4, how they'll fire twice, but they almost all kinetic weapons have got a recharge time of two rounds. So the Fisha is only gonna fire once every two rounds. So even if it wanted to defend itself, it doesn't have near the attack strength of a lot of other ships. This was actually a big problem for the Cavort when it first came out, that level 30 faction miner. Because it did not have a uh, firing pattern like the Antares and the Valkyries, it was a lot easier to hunt and take down, even for much smaller ships. And that's something the Fisha is going to run into. It simply can't do a lot in that regard. And then you take it a step further. And this was a, an area where Hugo really pointed out these numbers if you look at the bonuses it needs to get to its maximum you know defense percentages it needs more than the you know meridian it needs more than a lot of ships and that is just really weird because if you look at it as a freighter uh, especially as this three-star four-star hybrid it needs more than the vidar which i realize is a three-star ship it needs more than the franklin a and the iss jellyfish to reach its max per officer bonus percentage why does it need more than an iss jellyfish to reach its maximum officer bonus. So they created this ship, and that's why I found the irony of some of the things it was saying here in the detail screen, that it's this cutting edge, great vessel and great miner, when it's quite literally the weakest miner introduced to the game in a very long time, maybe ever. You know, in terms of defense, I mean, we're never pretending like the original Devor was secretly this great attack beetle, but this thing has no defense ability like the Meridian does, has no protected cargo, currently has no research to really improve the horrible mining laser or the protected cargo, and takes longer to mine the resource needed for the new refinery. So even though long-term, yes, there are some benefits here. And should you get the Devor? Let me go ahead and I've been pointing out negatives the entire video. Yes, the Devor Fisha is useful, especially for free to play. Would I suggest purchasing it? That's always on you. For me, you really need it. You really need the Fisha at about tier four to really feel like it can go go on its own when it comes to mining rates, when it comes to having some protected cargo, when it comes to warp range. And lo and behold, there's a hundred dollar pack that actually makes that happen. If you go into your store, you've got a hundred dollar pack that'll get you right there. That'll get you right there. The hundred dollar Fisha parts. You need 20,000 to get there. So even if you grind out your ship for free, it doesn't really feel like it's good until you spend a hundred dollars. Uh huh. I see you. I see me. Uh huh. I see you. I see you. So, it's a good ship at mining concentrated latinum, but it's not as good, especially early on for most players, as the Devor was. And then you run into all these other problems. The biggest issue I personally have is comparing it to other ships. Is the amount of time needed to actually go in just to start mining and then turning in for your latinum. Now to put some positives out there. When it comes to how much Latinum this thing can give you, it can give you quite a bit. As you level it up and as you go through its different tiers, the refinery improves. And we'll put that refinery here on the screen so y'all can see it and, you know, uh, have an understanding of what this can do for you. But simple terms, at tier four, you're going to get 1650 Latinum a chest. And that's just pulling one chest. So if you pulled one chest, just one, you'd pull over 600,000 Latinum in a year. If you're gonna double pull that, obviously you would get more, but that's three hours a day for a year at tier four to get over 1.2 million latinum, which is fine. That's it's, it's just a great amount. Everybody can use 1.2 million latinum. So the value is there for the player. I'm not saying it's not, but it is also good to note the flaws of the ship and be cognizant of maybe that you don't wanna deal with that amount at any given time. Maybe you just focus on loading it up with protected cargo and letting it mine overnight if you can get the systems that are empty, which obviously right now is very difficult. Everyone's trying to mine concentrated latinum, so it's hard to find those spots. But now you know how it works. Now you know the pros, the cons, and the good and the bad. And uh, yeah, what can I say? Shout out to the people who donated to help make this happen, as well as Scopely, who was very kind to gift us this extra dry dock. So I guess that's cool. We'll, we'll discuss the extra dry dock at some point. But there's the Devor Fisha. There's everything you really need to know about it. Is it worth getting and going after? Yes, you do want to add it to your uh, set, run it if you can, but be aware that it does have some drawbacks and it does take a little bit of tearing before you really feel like it has any value. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, live long and prosper. Stay safe for the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Sorry for the link, but hopefully it gave you what you needed and all the tools you need, the calculator, all the information is in my Discord, so join it. And if you have any questions, comment section down below. All you got to do is leave your comment and we'll get back to you. Love y'all. Deuces. I'm Audi and uh, bye. An even better outro than the intro.
for the empire and glory to your house.